This lesson will cover the following topics. The diesel fuel supply circuit. The low pressure fuel circuit. The high pressure fuel circuit. The diesel fuel supply circuit comprises the following components. A fuel tank. A filter. A low pressure pump. A high pressure pump. An injection rail. And injectors. The role of the fuel tank is to store the fuel. The filter retains any impurities contained in the diesel fuel which could damage delicate circuit components. The low pressure pump sucks the fuel from the fuel tank and supplies the high pressure pump. The high pressure pump supplies the injection rail with fuel under high pressure. The injection rail stores the fuel under high pressure and supplies the injectors. The injectors spray the fuel into the combustion chambers. The diesel fuel supply circuit comprises the following three circuits. A low pressure circuit, a high pressure circuit, and a return circuit. The low pressure circuit supplies the high pressure pump with fuel from the fuel tank. The high pressure circuit supplies the injectors with fuel from the high pressure pump. The return circuit returns any excess fuel from the high pressure circuit to the fuel tank. Diesel injection systems are highly sensitive to contamination. The entry of impurities into the fuel supply circuit may cause damage to or destruction of the injection system. The principles relating to cleanliness must be applied from the filter right through to the injectors. When carrying out an operation, it is essential to plug the various pipes in the circuit. A plug kit is available from the parts department. The cleanliness advice is described in the technical documentation. In this section, we covered the following points. The diesel fuel supply circuit is made up of a fuel tank, a filter, a low pressure pump, a high pressure pump, an injection rail, and injectors. The role of the fuel tank is to store the fuel. The filter retains any impurities contained in the diesel fuel which could damage delicate circuit components. The low pressure pump sucks the fuel from the fuel tank and supplies the high pressure pump. The high pressure pump supplies the injection rail with fuel under high pressure. The injection rail stores the fuel under high pressure and supplies the injectors. The injectors spray the fuel into the combustion chambers. The diesel fuel supply circuit comprises a low pressure circuit, a high pressure circuit and a fuel return circuit. The principles relating to cleanliness must be applied from the filter right through to the injectors. The cleanliness advice is described in the technical documentation. The low pressure fuel circuit comprises the following components. A fuel tank, a filter, and a low pressure pump. The fuel tank is filled via the fuel filler neck. The fuel filler neck contains an anti splashback system. The fuel tank has other anti pollutant and safety systems. The air breather valve prevents vacuum incidents related to the lowering of the level of fuel in the fuel tank. Should the vehicle overturn, a valve blocks the air breather to prevent any leakage of fuel. The filter retains any impurities contained in the diesel fuel which could damage delicate circuit components. The filter is replaced by changing the filter cartridge, by opening the filter housing, or by replacing the complete unit. Replacing a filter element requires the fuel circuit to be opened. The instructions relating to cleanliness must be strictly observed. The low pressure pump is a mechanical pump driven by the high pressure pump shaft. There are two types of mechanical pump. Pumps with gears and pumps with vanes. 
Water in diesel fuel can cause damage to the pump and to the injectors. The filter housing collects water contained in the diesel fuel. Because water is heavier than diesel, it accumulates in the bottom section of the filter housing. A bleed screw is used to drain any water during a service interval. Some systems are equipped with a water detection sensor on the filter housing. These systems indicate the presence of water inside the filter housing by illuminating a warning light on the instrument panel. To prevent the filter from clogging during cold, negative temperatures, it is necessary to heat the diesel fuel. The fuel can be heated by an electrical resistor on the filter housing. The electrical supply is provided via a temperature switch. If the temperature is negative, the temperature switch is closed and the resistors heat the diesel fuel. As soon as the temperature becomes positive, the temperature switch opens and the supply is cut. The fuel can also be heated by a return circuit loop. The fuel from a fuel return circuit has been subjected to an increase in temperature due to the mechanical friction caused by pressurization. A thermostatic component directs the fuel from the fuel return circuit towards two circuits. If the temperature is negative, the fuel is directed towards the filter inlet. If the temperature is positive, the fuel returns to the fuel tank. Some vehicles use a fuel cooling circuit to prevent overheating. The fuel return circuit to the fuel tank is characterized by the presence of a pipe coil located underneath the vehicle. The pipe coil, which is subjected to the flow of air when driving, is used to lower the temperature of the diesel fuel. Some vehicles have an electric low-pressure pump, in addition to the low-pressure mechanical pump. The electric pump only runs when the ignition is switched on, in order to prime the mechanical pump and to make engine starting easier. Other vehicles use an electric low-pressure pump as a replacement for the low-pressure mechanical pump. In this case, a pressure regulator fitted inside the filter housing maintains the pressure at a constant value. A priming bulb manually purges the fuel supply circuit during a routine service or after the vehicle has run out of fuel. The priming bulb is located upstream of the filter. The presence of a manual priming bulb indicates the absence of an electric priming pump. In this section, we covered the following points. The low-pressure fuel circuit comprises a fuel tank, a filter, and a low-pressure pump. The fuel tank and the fuel filler neck have various anti-pollution and safety systems. The low-pressure pump is a mechanical pump driven by the high-pressure pump shaft. Water in diesel fuel can cause damage to the pump and to the injectors. The filter housing collects water contained in the diesel fuel. The fuel can be heated by an electrical resistor fitted to the filter housing or by the fuel return circuit loop. Some vehicles use a fuel cooling circuit to prevent overheating. Some vehicles have an electric low-pressure pump in addition to or instead of the low-pressure mechanical pump. A priming bulb manually purges the fuel supply circuit during a routine service or after the vehicle has run out of fuel. The high-pressure fuel circuit comprises the following components. A high-pressure pump, an injection rail, and injectors. The role of the pump is to produce high pressure. In contrast to the pumps on older generation diesel engines, the pump does not provide the injection metering and point of injection function. The high pressure pump contains several pumping components driven by the rotation of the engine. The pumping components may be arranged as per the following fitting types. Star fitting or axial fitting. The pumping components, of which there are two or three, supply fuel via a single pipe to the injection rail. The injection rail, or common rail, stores the fuel before it is injected. This storage of fuel avoids any variations in pressure when the injectors open. 
The rail has one outlet per cylinder to which the injector pipes are connected. The injection rail may be cylindrical or spherical in shape. The rail may incorporate a mechanical limiter. This opens in case of accidental overpressure. The rail protectors protect against splashes of pressurized fuel if there is leakage from one of the pipes. It is essential to observe the safety instructions described in the technical documentation. The injection rail incorporates the pressure sensor. The rail pressure sensor is a piezo-resistive sensor. The computer uses the rail pressure signal to control the pressure regulation system. One method of regulating the high pressure inside the rail is to manage a leakage at the high pressure pump outlet. The pressure regulator is a solenoid valve controlled by the injection computer. The command is made via a modulated pulse current, OCR. To maintain the required pressure inside the rail, the pressure regulator discharges the excess pressure to the fuel return circuit. This system allows the fuel pressure inside the rail to be adjusted very quickly. On some systems, the pressure is regulated by metering the quantity of fuel allowed into the pumping cylinders. The fuel flow actuator is a solenoid valve controlled by the injection computer. The command is made via a modulated pulse current, OCR. Only the quantity of fuel required to maintain the pressure inside the rail is compressed. This principle reduces the amount of power absorbed by the pump and the temperature of the diesel fuel inside the fuel return circuit. Some systems use the benefits of the two previous circuits. These systems are equipped with a pressure regulator and a fuel flow actuator. The pressure regulator adjusts the pressure inside the rail by creating a leakage from the high pressure circuit to the fuel return circuit. The fuel flow actuator injects the quantity of fuel taken in by the high pressure pump. We are going to look at the pressure regulation setup inside the rail on a system that uses a fuel flow actuator. The pressure sensor provides the fuel pressure. Depending on the engine parameters, such as the engine speed, the computer defines the required fuel pressure. The computer adjusts the fuel flow actuator control to obtain the required pressure. The fuel pressure sensor sends the new pressure value to the computer, which may adjust its control. If there is a fault on the rail pressure sensor, the computer restricts the engine performance. The result of a fault on the pressure regulation actuators depends on the system. In this section, we covered the following points. The high pressure fuel circuit comprises a high pressure pump, an injection rail, and injectors. The high pressure pump contains several pumping components driven by the rotation of the engine. The rail protectors protect against splashes of pressurized fuel if there is leakage from one of the pipes. The pressure regulator manages a leakage at the high pressure pump outlet. The fuel flow actuator meters the quantity of fuel allowed into the pumping cylinders. Some systems are equipped with a flow actuator and a pressure regulator. The pressure sensor provides the fuel pressure. The computer adjusts the fuel flow actuator control to obtain the required pressure. The result of a fault on the pressure regulation actuators depends on the system.